pagi teman-teman Saat ini Saya akan menuju Sebuah kafe Kafe Ministry of Sep Saya akan mengunjungi Sahabat bosnya saya Mr. Resat Strik Dan akan bincang-bincang dengan dia Dia adalah seorang aktor Bosnia kita akan menuju ke sana. Terima kasih. Saya bersama dengan Reza Trik, seorang aktor dari Bosnia yang bermain untuk film Hollywood dan yang terakhir dia ikut serial TV Turki Kartu Gurul. Mari kita lihat sosoknya yaitu Mr. Reza Trik. Ya, saya Selamat datang. Welcome. This is my background. My my father was born in Sarajevo. My my father's name is Sayad. Sayad. Strik. And my my mother's name was Patricia Strick, which is really weird because when I was in uh, Solok, I met one lady, her name was Patricia, and she was, uh, it was really weird because she was like uh, from Sumatra Barat, Muslim, and also her name was Patricia, and I was like, hey, my mother's name is Patricia. And so I, I always remember that, when I, when I, because my mother's it's a very rare name, uh, especially in Indonesia. But my mother changed her name to uh, Khadija. Khadija. Yeah. Because she's a Muslim. Oh, okay, being Muslim, yeah. That's a good story. Uh, I grew up in Australia. Those masjid to us yeah. was about 20 kilometers. Uh -huh. And it's an Indonesian masjid. And a lot of the students were coming from Indonesia to study. And when I was young, uh, I used to read Quran. With the Malay and Indonesian Malay students, Indonesian they, they, oh. from from Salat Maghrib to Salat Isha, they would teach us. I did the first contact with the Malaysian and Indonesian yeah, at so the time. It was beautiful for us because we mm. we really got to know uh, the Indo Malay culture. Yeah. You know, I, I got I got to really introduce to me through that. So. I, I studied university uh -huh. for yeah. acting. <laughs> In filmmaking, oh. I finished in Sydney four years of university. Sydney, Sydney. Uh, after that, uh, I went on to do some theatre, independent theatre, co-op theatre, mm -hmm. and then I did some television stuff in Australia for Channel Seven. Mm -hmm. And later on, I was invited to go to Hollywood. I went to Hollywood. I acted in six films. You, you still have the competition at the time? There's always going to be competition. Uh, and Audition, something. Audition is non-stop. Non-stop audition. Working, audition. Working, audition. It's, not, it's not easy to have in Hollywood. Yeah. I'd say it's not easy, but, but, it's, but it's, normal. It's, it's normal. It's normal. It's normal. I mean, it's the job, actually. Yeah. It's the job. Yeah, yeah. And I always accepted things like uh, what would be nasib, like yeah. what's going to happen. Nasib, yeah, yeah. You know, what's going to happen, what's not going to happen. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you really believe in in God, in God then it's, it's much easier yeah. because you, you can accept your rejection you can accept everything so it's actually depression proof uh, Indonesia is like I, I really feel like also with Turkey and Indonesia both of them yeah. really feel like I have that in my bones in my blood because not only really spending so much time there but as an Australian Muslim it is, it's my next door neighbor. As an Australian Muslim, that's our, that's our home. So, for, for an Australian Muslim, that's my identity actually, Indonesia, yeah. because it's it's, uh, yeah. it's so relatable to my culture. And the identity there is, is you know, I just love, I love everything about Indo. People are so, yeah. the color, so very colorful. Yeah. Everyone's relaxed, so yeah, much subtle, so much subtle. And everyone is smiling. The street food is incredible. Uh, I've had some of the best satay ayam on the street. That's like, like the, the best barbecue ever. Nasi goreng. 
and all, all the nasis, means, and, and fruits, and uh, sambal, all the chilies. Incredible. You know, I love, I love the spice. I, love, I really love that because I think it goes hand in hand. If there's bacteria, there's going to be bacteria on, on the street with people around washing their hands and, and touching meat and stuff like that. I think the spice just kills everything. So it's, it's actually, I think you need it. I, I love the place in South Sulawesi. Jenny Ponto. Jenny Ponto. They're eating kuta. Uh, the horse, the horse yeah. uh, soup with the horse, yeah. it was beautiful, it was really beautiful. Yeah. Also, they ate everything, but there's so much horses there, and it's really interesting about the culture of horses that came one time from China maybe 300 years ago, 400 years ago, that these beautiful horses came, and in that part of Sulawesi, South yeah. Sulawesi, South Seoul, yeah. it's just horses everywhere, yeah. and it's beautiful, I think it's, it's not, it's not like ugly horses, they're beautiful horses. We did, we, we, we filmed that like for, uh, for uh, the, the, the Turkish state channel, TRT. Oh, it's, yeah. it's on there, our, our documentary program. Uh, we also went all over uh, Java, uh, Banten, uh, We were a little bit south of Padang as well, and one, one beautiful like island. We saw turtles everywhere. It's just so beautiful. Oh, the, the, the island. Turtles, yes, Madawi, Madawi. 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 You are close Nasi with, Padang, with, Nasi the, with the Indonesia. All, all the plates lined up. I mean, Indo has incredible food. You just hear chafe. Chafe? Chafe. What chafe means uh -huh. in Arabic uh -huh. is cave, which means oh. your, 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 uh, how you say, your situation, state. Uh -huh. how, Okay, okay. In Arabic, it went to Turkish, Persian, Russian. It also came here to Bosnia, no Balkan. But what we did with the Balkan, we changed the the harf, the the letter from k to ch. So we have uh, kebab, chebab. We have also um, dukan. Ducha. So we changed it to ch. So chafe. Chafe. It's, it's, it's we and also you know Bosnians are very like in the culture. We we are very relaxed. You know we do things slowly. We do. We, we enjoy we enjoy our coffee here in Bosnia. I, I visited many farms from many many coffee farms. Somato Barat to all over Sulawesi, South Sulawesi to to Raja. Uh, and uh, I've, tasted, Gaio. I've tasted many from Ace Gayo. Like on, on, a, on a world scale, I really see Indonesia and I'm always questioning myself because when I go to cafes in Australia and I see only in the cafe that they are serving uh, Central American coffee. Oh, yes. And I'm asking, most, most of the, yeah. I'm in Sydney and I'm asking, why are you selling Indonesian coffee? It's like amazing coffee. But I always get the same response that the the consistency is not there with Indonesian coffees. That's because they're not producing uh, correctly. But some of the coffees I've had, believe me, I've, I've, it's all I want to drink. It's all I love. But I think in time, I think Indonesians will work that out and, and they will establish a, a much better fair trade and processing and their coffees are great, inshallah, I really hope that, uh, that they succeed with their coffees because they have something to offer really in the coffee world. Turaja, Turaja, I went to many, many farms there. I mean, Starbucks have farms there and it's, sort of, it's, it's world famous over there. Uh, I really, really fell in love with the coffee culture of Indonesia because no one has fancy espresso machines or, or grinders or coffee equipment. They have all these rocket stuff and they have like, manual brewing, it's all manual brewing. 
but they have the, some of the best beans in the world. I think that is because Indonesia has amazing fruit and vegetation, agriculture, but also surrounded with water. It's all surrounded with water, so I think it just produces somewhat some amazing yeah. coffee beans. It's, it's, it's very famous all over the world. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, it's about time that a, a Muslim non-secular hero finally, because you know in Turkey that yeah. the, the hijab was banned to be on TV. The only, the only way you can wear hijab on, on, on Turkish television before this was if you were stupid or if you were a cleaner. So I think it's, it's really important that you know they finally, you know, it's going to be the balance, you know, it's okay to have secular stories, I'm all for that, no problems. But also, remember our heroes, our Islamic heroes as well, so I think it's very important because it's our culture, it's our culture, it's our deen, you know, it's our history, I think it's very important. And that's, that's, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, it, it succeeded because of that, all over the world, all over the Muslim world. I mean, the Muslims are actually very thirsty for see that because I don't know why the Muslim world is sleeping. I mean, we're very lazy, we don't want to make anything, but finally the Turks did it. And I hope that other countries will also do it because we want to learn about other Muslim countries as well. So I think it's very important. Because you, there are so many fantastic stories. I'm sure in Malay, Indonesia, there are some beautiful stories about maybe fighting the Dutch and things like that. And this is stuff we must remember, not, not to forget. Yeah, I, I, I remember that when the, we have the problem to fight with the Portuguese in the, on the 16th century at the time, our Aceh is asking for the Turkey to, to help. The, and then uh, from Turkey, they link the two, two ships coming to Aceh to help the, the Aceh to fight with the Portuguese at the time. And then I know the story that the, the person to go to Aceh is from Bosnia. Really? Because Bosnia is uh, very good in, in, in ammunition and the kind of, uh, yeah, you are very good in, in, in the city. So they bring the Bosnian come to Aceh and then live with the Aceh people. So I think if Bosnians come to Aceh, they will not live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <of> course. <laughs> yeah, because there is the village that uh, the, the, in the Aceh, the, the people look like the Europeans. In, there is the place in Aceh, the kids and the children is like the Europeans. <laughs> so maybe it's from Bosnia. Maybe. Well, they actually said they're from China. They said they're from South China. Yeah, they're from China. Like, what's the, the singer, Raisa? They uh -huh. said that she's, yeah, okay, yeah. she's from, from, from Sumatra, but from China. Do you have any message from for Indonesian or from yeah, for, for our Bosnian people? Well, I, I, well for Bosnian people, I... Unfortunately, I think the Boston people find it very hard to, to get used to the taste of Indonesian food. I guess because our, our, our palate here for tasting food is, is very plain. We like salt and that's it. Salt and beans and bread and that's what's our But it's not, not too crazy like in the no, very, very crazy palate. And I, I really wish that Bostons could finally sort of start eating some crazy food like in the food. Because I think we need it here. Also, for Indo people, I, I wish that Indonesians should come visit us here in Bosnia. We love that. We love, we love to see you here. Sure. Yes. Okay, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Demikian bincang-bincang saya dengan Rashid Strik soal sosok karir kedekatan dengan Indonesia, soal kafe dan kopi Indonesia dan serial Etubrul. Semoga berkenan. Terima kasih.